Hey there, my name is Kevin Butler and I'm a certified professional ergonomist that works with Skillshare. Now this video is specifically for standard chartered banks. I understand that you guys are having to work from home and that can be a real challenge because many of us don't have the perfect setup. Um, we don't have the things that we had at the workplace. Um, I'm actually held up in my basement right now. My three amazing daughters have completely taken over the first floor with e-learning and Legos and slime and all sorts of amazing crafts. Um, I love them, but uh, it makes for um, getting some work done um, efficiently and comfortably a real challenge. So um, this is, I'm sure, what many of you are using or um, I guess have to use. Maybe you're working from your kitchen table. Um, this table is set at about 30 inches, which is pretty standard. Um, I've got a chair on four legs uh, with a straight wooden rigid back. Um, so th it, this is a real challenge. I, I'm going to cover, what I'm going to cover today is I'm going to cover the essentials. Really what um, every one of you should be considering when it comes to optimizing comfort and um, optimizing uh, efficiency or productivity. So the first most kind of fundamental concept that I just want to cover real quick is movement. Um, in times like this, we need to move more, we need to move often. Um, we actually need to move more than we used to um, because likely we're, likely we're stuck in situations like this for extended periods of time. Um, any chance that we have to get up, any chance that we have to transition from sit to stand to move and then back down to sit, um, if there are calls that you're not leading but you're a listener for, um, that's a great opportunity to get some extra steps in. And trust me, in, if you can accumulate um, a lot of steps, um, that'll add up quickly. So do your very best to make your next posture your best posture. That's a mantra that's worked for me, and hopefully it can work for you. So let's focus now on the workstation. Um, most of us have a laptop. If you have a screen, great, but a, a lot of us I know are stuck in a situation where we've got, a, we've got mobile technology. And the position that I, I'm, I'm sure many of us have found ourselves in um, is, is one like this, where my, my shoulders are shrugged, I have to kind of overreach and, and flail my arms out a little bit, my back comes completely off the back of the chair, and my head to see the screen has to come down and flex an extreme amount. So that's at the root of today, is how do we fix this posture? Well, the first thing I'd like to call attention to is our shoulders. I wanna fix that shoulder position as best I can. So what I do for that, my trick, is to get a cushion, um, a pillow, and anything that, that we can put on our seat. So I actually took these from the patio outside. I've got six chairs, these thin cushions. I took two, and I'm gonna put these underneath my chair, and I'm gonna tuck in and take a look at my shoulder position. My shoulders are now completely relaxed. They went from here to here, right? That's a great step. So next thing I want to do is I want to try to get some more comfort out of this chair. So what I like to do is um, small pillow if you have it. I, I actually like sweatshirts because you can tuck them up, tuck them into a nice little rectangle. I took the sweatshirt from my closet. I put this right back here. And now my lower back has some support, so a fighting chance at some lumbar support. So you, you got to add that support to the lower back, okay? So we've got... A couple of cushions, we've got a sweatshirt. We now have a pretty comfortable seated posture, okay? We gotta fix this screen location, right? Because to see this thing, my head has to come down and look like this. This is gonna create discomfort really, really quickly. So, trick for that is I use books. So I actually have uh, two pretty substantial sized books right here as a prop. So if I put my laptop up there, okay? Maybe a little closer, okay? It's closer, but it's still really far away. My, bed, my head has to look down a lot. So I actually have this pre-measured. I actually have four more, making it six books. Now, if I were to put my laptop here, that's much better. The screen is at least an arm's length away, right? The top portion of the text is at or slightly below eye level. Now, you're probably wondering how are we gonna type? Well, that's where this comes into play. I have an external keyboard and an external mouse, okay? Now, I found these lying around upstairs or in a bag tucked away somewhere. 
um, you might have the same. It doesn't have to be a crazy expensive solution. Just it's well worth the investment to get a keyboard and a mouse, something to detach the screen from the actual keys. Now when I go to type, I've got everything in a really, really nice posture. It's not perfect, but it's a whole lot better. Okay? So remember, your next posture is your best posture. Fix that shoulder position by bolstering under the seat. Give your spine a fighting chance by adding a little bit of lumbar support. Separate the keys from the monitor by bringing your monitor up to at or slightly below eye level and at least an arm's length away and get your keyboard and your mouse really close. You can do it. Good luck. Check out the Steelcase, Steelcase YouTube channel for more videos and we'll talk to you soon. Okay?